Hi everyone, this is Janice, and today I'm going to groom Ricky. He's a regular dog, he's a Shih Tzu. This is his before. I'm just going to, I just have my phone, so I'm just going to do snippets here and there. Just kind of show what my Shih Tzus look like when I'm done. It's just going to get regular haircut, uh, same length all over, a little round head, trim his ears a little trim his tail a little and they like his top not really long so we just kind of shape it around his face so you can see his eyes Ricky I can see them see you see you say hi Ricky 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 he's looking everywhere but the camera he's a sweet boy very well behaved this is where I bathe Ricky he's in the laundry tub I have downstairs in my basement <laughs> I do have a shower stall that I use for the little larger dogs. He's looking down here at Wesley barking. What you doing, Wes? You saying hi? Wesley, where'd you go? There you go. Hi, Wesley. He's checking on to see what Mama's doing here. <laughs> All right, I get, it's hard to hold my phone and, and bathe. I just wanted to show you a little bit. I make this work for now. I do want to make enough money and build up a nice bathing area for the doggies, but this works quite well. I bought this laundry tub at Home Depot and it works really well. It has a nice sprayer here, um, two different streams. So it works well for, I only do small dogs and medium and the long time not too big. Sometimes people's medium is my large, <laughs> but you know, just so they've, they fit in the sink and then I have a regular stand-up shower stall down here um, that I use for the little larger dogs that won't fit in this but he's very good so I'm gonna get going and bathe in him sorry I can't show that I just don't know I need both hands <laughs> maybe somehow I'll figure out how to rig up something so I can but this is it for now and this is him all so it's up, I use a loofah and I scrub it up, up. <laughs> I mean, I really massage him well. I'll give him a nice little massage. And this sod slope is real nice. So I don't use a whole lot of shampoo, but enough to get him good and clean. I do give two complete sodzines. I do this first and then I rinse him down, then I do it again. And then after this, I put a light conditioner on him just so his skin is conditioned and his fur is nice and soft. He's not gonna be a scissor cut, so I don't really need to be stiff besides his pet. And she Tzu's are naturally supposed to have long hair, but pet owners like them short so they're easy to maintain. And the dogs are just, you know, they're happy with their shorter hairdos. I don't shave him. I. He gets about a three quarters of an inch to half an inch long, okay, um, which is nice length for him to maintain. And he feels good and he looks good. So, yeah, he comes off enough for he's never matted or tangled or anything. Uh, always in good shape. All right, he's going to rinse him off and I'll give his conditioner here. I found my tripod. So I'm using that. I didn't bring up my ring light. I'm just using my regular lights. It's kind of dark in here. I may have to bring that up. But for now, um, I'm going to spray him down in some all in one condition. So leave in condition. I'm just brushing this through. I, you know, I'm not going to go crazy. Just kind of brushing it out. I do take the knob off. He's pretty good about it. But they don't like it on their face. Um, I try to be mindful of that. I don't know what happened. My last footage it started really well and then all of a sudden went to slow motion. So this video unfortunately is a little choppy. Next time I'm going to use my good camera, not my phone. Because this, I don't like this for um, filming this type of thing. But I, I got my stand dryer up now. I got a sedan here. I don't have a pillow for it. So I'm just going to 
brush through him and finish him off for drying. So I just take a pen brush and brush through him lightly. Just to fluff him up. We're going to get Greg at home. He's pretty fluffy. He's in really good shape as I keep telling you. And I'm not having to do a whole lot of um, brushing and combing on because, well, for one thing, that power drawer did a lot before me. As you see, I, I hope you see, seen a little bit of it where I hold it steady and let that air do the magic of separating this for just right now, just seeing little areas here. You want this comb to go through like butter. You want to make sure it touches the skin. You don't want to jab in, but just nicely touch the skin. Oh, stick it there. What's going on there? What's going on there? No tangles. Just he has thick. He just has thick coat. I can't talk today. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this was a heavy spots, but it's not matter the tangle. Where that quick is. I know you can't see. He's along here, but I'll get over that side there. And actually, his rears don't really need to be clipped. I can file them. I don't want to accidentally get this quick because they're that short. I do them often. So I do file them in a little shorter and smoother. This is nice and sharp, so I guess I'm pretty smooth. I don't get a lot of ridges from this particular. Yeah, it's okay. Now the front ones grow a little faster. I don't think grow so much faster as if they don't get as much wear on them. Like, I don't know if you've seen doggies kind of scratch off sometimes. That helps to rear nails keep each other. All right, let me just file these nice and smooth. I use this touch to make sure they're smooth and not rigid. Some doggies have harder nails than others. I find that they're really hard to get smooth. But his is nice and soft too. The back does help. Wesley, you wanna come say hi? Come here. This is Wesley, he said hi. He loves other dogs. He loves dogs. <laughs> say hi to Ricky. Ricky, you say hi to him? No, he says, no, I'm not busy. You leave me alone. <laughs> Alright, you can get down some moment and groom Ricky. Alright, this is the fluff part of it. And now I'm going to get into the grooming part of it. Okay, I just shape his pads of his feet. You see that um, with my vergata, 
and now I'm gonna go ahead and start his body. I'm using my Andis clipper, it's battery operated, and I'm using number two comb on a 30 blade. And what I'm going to do now is just start trimming off some of his fur and setting my length. I will go over this you know, back and forth and scissor also. Basically, I'm setting the length, which is a half, no, this is um, the two guard, three eighths, and that is, that length is the summer, but in the winter we go the one cone, and um, that's a half inch. So what I do is I just put down the bobby. And then I go down the legs. And I'm just showing you briefly what I'm doing, but I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera off now and do it. I'll just show you bits and pieces. Okay, now I'm at the point where I am doing my scissory work. I basically got the length here. And now I just go over him and even, even up for the finishing touches. And he has a curly coat, not curly, wavy coat. So, you know, it's not like doing a straight coat or even a curly coat, for that matter. But, um, yeah. I like using my tensioners curve scissors. Actually, one of these at a dog room show. Yeah. Oh, it's a good dog. I love these things favorite pair. I've had these for years. Not found anything quite like it. And I've got other Kenchies, but I just like the, like the feel of them. <laughs> I think everyone gets um, used to one pair of scissors, and that's their scissors. Weird how that is. And just, he gets, he gets a fairly fluffy but cold. He doesn't get, you know, quite super short or anything. I just even it up the best I can. And I'm trying to show you here, so I'm a little bit of a bad angle, but I'll, I'll make sure it's straight when I'm done. I just kind of show you what I do. Yeah, tall up, make sure I got the foot round and all. You don't want to cut up like that because then you might get too short. So you can just and go around, maybe around foot. I did this side, but I'm going to go a little bit and see where I missed it. And I spend a little time doing this. I mean, like I said earlier, I am a slow boomer. I like taking my time. Um, I can do these things fast like that too. I just don't like to. You know, I'm the age now where I want to do it the way I want to do it at my own pace. It turns out nice and I enjoy the process. I enjoy the process. Otherwise, why would I be doing this? I mean, yeah, I could use the extra money, but I could be fine without it. I just enjoy doing it. I've tried to quit so many times. I mean, I've tried to retire so many times and I keep, I have dreams about it. I mean, I miss it, I miss it. There for years I grew there for years, I worked at General Motors, and I uh, missed this so much. And I would still do it. I would do a lot of cats back then. Um, I had cats. I had my dogs. And I would do them. And I'd do some friends' dogs and my family's dogs. But I didn't really do it out in, um, you know, the retail genre. And then I just did it for friends and family. And I um, kept my skills, you know, up to date. But then when I came back to it, I went back to, well, actually what I did is I retired from GM. And I, oh, I'm going to be a cake decorator. So I took a bunch of cake decorating classes and I did that for a while. 
<clears throat> but I still really miss dog grooming. So I went back into dog grooming. And the time I got back into it, a lot of things have changed. Equipment got better. Um, just different skill sets that I've learned from other groomers on the show. So I wanted to make sure I was up with the trends. I took some classes. Um, just to sharpen up my skills so that I have been away from it professionally for a few years, about a decade. But like I said earlier, I um, still did it for my friends and family and myself, but not professional. <laughs> so I, I guess you can kind of mind that I've been grooming since I was 16. I'm 71 now, almost 72. So. I started at 16 learning, and then when I got married, my husband's family owned a um, pet store, and they needed a groomer, so I was their groomer, and I only did it for my sister, you know, learning her, her, so I got a book, and I read on different breeds, because I only knew Schnauzers and Poodles at the time, and I was their groomer, and I was 18 at the time. So, yeah, just read that book and studied it and also asked my sister a lot of questions. Well, we learned as we went because a lot of different dog breeds were coming into the picture then. We learned. self talk basically, um, with my sister's help. She was also, well, she took a class at this college there in town for dog grooming. It was like an adult enrichment class. And uh, well, she learned then she came home and showed me. And believe it or not, I had a neighbor who was a grooming. I was probably 14, 15. I was so envious as she was a groomer. I said, I want to be a groomer. I thought that was great. So I always wanted to be a groomer. I got to be a groomer. A lot of people has I had stigma attached to it for some reason. I'd go out and meet people and they'd say, why don't you get a real job? I think this is a real job. <laughs> boy, oh boy. They were so uneducated. This is a hard a real job. I like hands-on work. I don't like office work, retail, you know, I, I just I like hands on. I like using my body and hands and, you know, my brain. I can't stand repetition. All right, I'm going to finish this up because I'm talking. I'm getting behind. Owners expect two hours. I got 15 minutes left. So um, I'm going to finish this up. So I will be back with the finished part. I'm about finished now. Just kind of going over him and see if I have any pieces I need to get. This is Mr. Ricky. <laughs> this is my finished product. He has very wavy hair, so it doesn't look like real precise and smooth, but that's a shih tzu for you. It's not intended to be, in my eyes, perfect, <laughs> but it's perfect. Um, the people love this length. It's a nice manageable length. It's not shaved, but it is short, and he's happy. Say hi. hi. Looks like it's crooked, but that's his hair coloring. It gives an illusion that that top is crooked, and I keep trying to trim it, and then I get it too short. <laughs> anyway, we're going to say goodbye now. I'm going to go ahead and throw a bandana on and call his mama to come get him. So thank you for watching. If you got some value in this video, please give me a like. Also, subscribe to my channel. I do lifestyle on this channel. Also, besides the unboxings, I don't know if I'm going to do a, a separate channel for this. I haven't decided yet. It just depends what the interest is. And um, yeah, I just, I just did an experiment. So my channel is about beauty and lifestyle. Not only beauty in the human, but beauty in your pets. All right. Um, again, subscribe, like, share this video, and also comment. What do you think? Give me some ideas. What do you want to see? Are you not interested? Um, if you're not interested, uh, you can always do another channel and Maybe, you know, advertise it more as 
a darker moon, but I didn't really want to do all that. There's a lot of groomers out there who do a really bang up job, and I'm just doing it for fun and pastime. Just sharing. So, sharing my life with you. All right, everyone. I'm going to let you go now, and you have a wonderful, beautiful day, and if you have pets, keep them beautiful. Bye.